Welcome to Guatemala City. We arrived here yesterday and the hostel we stayed at last night was not the best. No Wi-Fi in the middle of nowhere and this is the view we got from the rooftop and as you can see it's a little bit rough and we felt a little bit unsafe walking out. So we booked an Airbnb which between the three of us was a lot cheaper than the hostel and this is where we are now. To get here we took uh, an Uber and this is the journey we took. So Guatemala City is just here on the map and is the capital of Guatemala but it's also the biggest city in Central America. So big that it's split down into 22 zones and this is zone 1. A lot of backpackers tend to stay away from Guatemala City mainly because they hear that it's dangerous, it's run down and there isn't a lot to do. Even though I've seen a bit of the dodgy side of Guatemala now I'm in the centre and the historical centre I'm hoping that there is stuff to do and just to give you a quick bit of where we are two blocks down that way is the central square and if you look behind me just up there you can see him that's our apartment and that's Shane taking in the midday sun so usually in the big big cities that we go to there is usually a free walking tour that will take you around and show you the sights unfortunately Guatemala City didn't have one we looked we searched we actually came here for 10 o'clock because that's usually the time they all start around the world um, nothing so we're going to do it ourselves and see what there is out there so this is the main square in the historical centre and that is the National Palace of culture. Little fountain and the main cathedral of the city. I think this is the door into the cathedral. Let's go. Told no videos allowed in this museum. I'm a rebel. So according to some signs, this is the most visited spot in Guatemala. And this is the indoor market underground. Woo woo! Yeah. 
So this is the old post office. And I've got a postcard which I was going to send to my nephew Kyle. But unfortunately I've just been told they don't send international. So I'm not sure what to do with it. So if you're watching this Kyle, you'll get it soon when I go to another country. It's also a museum so we can have a wander in if it's open. This is 6th Avenue and it's pedestrianised and it's just full of shops. 6th Avenue actually goes on for about 8 blocks full of shops, restaurants. In fact the only thing that's missing from around here is an Apple store. So I've just come off 6th Avenue and found this part which was last night when we came past it all locked up but it's pretty seems to be a lot of people just sitting around sleeping and then some keys are at the end at the end of 6th Avenue is the market where they are just selling vegetables and stuff and more vegetables and fruit and this goes on and on and on so we've just come in to the biggest indoor market in Guatemala City the architecture around the city is quite amusing for what I thought would be here. So that's Guatemala City so far. We've actually decided to extend our stay here for a few more days mainly because the accommodation is cheap. The food is cheaper here than anywhere else that we've had in Guatemala. Uh, Travelling around the city the Uber is cheap and there is so much to do. I'm surprised that so many backpackers do avoid this place and they shouldn't. It's really, really nice. I'm quite impressed with Guatemala City so far. But that's it for now. We have got more stuff to see in the next few days, including the International Coffee Festival, which I am looking forward to. So, if you like this video, press like. If you want to subscribe and see what the International Coffee Festival is all about, press the subscribe button. But for now, it's a bye-bye for me. Bye.